In this tutorial, we will be going over avatar joint manipulation. To begin, we will need to drop an avatar from the library window into the scene. We will also need to place the toolbox window into the environment. The toolbox window is found under the Windows tab. The default tool for the mouse pointer is the Object Scheme tool, which allows you to translate, rotate, and scale objects in the scene. This tool is represented by the arrow cursor in the toolbox window. Also in the toolbox window, is the joint manipulation tool, which is represented by a hand with two blue dots. This tool allows you to manually manipulate the avatar's joints. To turn on joint manipulation, click once on the icon. The icon will then be highlighted in blue. When the joint manipulation tool is turned on, the object scheme tool will then be turned off. To go back to the object scheme tool, just click back on its icon once. The tool that is active will be highlighted in blue. When using the joint manipulation tool, the avatar's joints will appear in a white outline when the mouse is hovering over the avatar. The white circles along the white outline correspond to each individual joint. Next to the mouse pointer, a text box will appear with the name of the joint closest to the pointer. Along with the joint's name, the joint's corresponding circle will be highlighted in yellow. To manipulate the joint, Double click on the joint of interest. Either one, two, or three colored circles will appear once the joint is selected. These circles represent the joint's degree of freedom. The degree of freedom that is active is highlighted. By rolling the middle scroll on the mouse, it allows you to switch between the different degrees. To manipulate the joint, click and hold the left mouse click and drag to the desired rotation. Some tools to help with joint manipulation are located at the top of the viewport screen. Turned on by default, coupled joint manipulation rotates all the joints that typically rotate in concert with the selected joint. For example, the spine, neck, and fingers are typical joints that rotate in concert with one another. The other option is single joint manipulation. This allows for the user to only rotate the selected joint. As shown, the spine joint selected is now only rotate its specific joint. No other joints are rotating in concert. Lastly, the Update Symmetric tool is available for use. When turned on, the selected joint as well as its symmetric joint will rotate in the same degree. For example, the left shoulder is turned on to rotate, with the Update Symmetric Joint tool turned on, as I rotate this le the left shoulder, the right shoulder rotates as well. These tools will help you with your avatar joint manipulation. Next, we will be going over posture prediction basics.